Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Francesca, here on the behalf of my co-authors, Anne Schenbacher and Johanna Hartmann from the Film University Babelsberg and Marian Dörg from the University of Applied Science Potsdam. Today I will present our study, From Shock to Shift, Data Visualization for Constructive Climate Journalism. Climate journalism is a genre of reporting that covers issues connected with climate change. In recent years, mostly because of the vast amount of climate data available, data visualization has gained a central role in climate journalism as a way to visually represent the dire consequences of the climate crisis. Despite their popularity, the impact of climate journalism and visualization are at risk. Previous research has already established the link between frightening climate change-related communication and negative emotions in readers. These emotions include anxiety and fear, leading to information avoidance. Looking closely at the problem, the difficulty in reporting compelling and constructive climate news might be due to a series of factors that determine how this verbal and visual communication is shaped and reproduced. First, climate change communication is a multidimensional problem. We are asked to deal with heterogeneous data and required to make sense of various visualization techniques in order to unpack its complexity. Reporting should help in making sense of this information, while making space for topics like climate protection, conservation and mitigation, which are key to promote systemic change. Second, climate change communication unfolds on multiple levels not only from global to local, but also from structural to individual and from economic to social. The absence of personally relevant information has been identified as one of the most severe barriers in climate communication. Data journalists could use visualization to strike a balance and present more granular information to readers. Lastly, climate change communication is necessarily multi-channel. Climate change is a planetary crisis that cuts through generations and cultural boundaries. It is fundamental to consider different media in the creation and diffusion of information. Given these challenges, we structured a practical approach that would support the creation of solution-oriented data visualization. These five steps should be considered. Encouraging hopefulness, offering a low threshold access, devising coherent content across platforms, supporting sharing of insights, making visualization personally relevant. All these steps could contribute equally to the use of visualization for constructive climate journalism, and we believe they could change the attitude and emotional reaction of readers towards cl rel climate-related topics. In order to test the potential of this approach, we decided to partner with TADS, a German newspaper, to create and publish a project on climate protection in Germany. Our first goal was to understand how to translate general goals into design decisions. The second goal was to understand how visualizations impact the effective engagement of readers, namely their emotional involvement or investment while interacting with visualization. Hence, the project has been set up as a participatory process, with journalists, programmers and designers taking part to each phase, and as a user-centered study, focused on the resulting prototype. For the data selection, we decided to go at a very in-depth regional level and show how Germany provinces are dealing with climate protection from five different sectors – mobility, housing, agriculture, energy and waste. Sectors are split in several indicators and level of granularity. This with the intent of making visualization personally relevant to readers and support insights and exchange. For each indicator, we designed a climate postcard, comprising a visualization with title, description and legend on the front and a longer text inclusive of map, of map on the back. The result is a set of more or less 3,600 visualizations showing local, regional and national developments. As a design object, postcards present several useful affordances. First, they are personal objects that present a playful visual language. They are also self-contained artifacts that offer low threshold access. They portray holiday locations with standardized graphical motifs, making them ideal for comparison and exchange of insights. 
Understanding the differences between channel of provenance, namely from where readers access the postcards, is a key aspect of our study. Content was adapted and redesigned to fit several channels to be distrib then distributed both offline and online. Readers could find the visualizations on, TADS, on the TADS website in one printed weekly issue, on social media and at local TADS events. Results show the interaction between our approach and readers' effective engagement. First, the initial intention of designing the postcards was to maximize shareability for political reasons. However, readers reported a much more personal and subjective relationship with them. Clusters of readers' expressive positive emotions were also showing higher motivation to share the postcards. The two clusters of readers that didn't like the design report high rate of negative engagement and emotions like fear and hopelessness. This finding shows how the design concepts plays a role in influencing readers' attitude and can change their way of approaching the topic. Second, the creation of self-contained chunks of content was a key strategy to facilitate readers' exploration. However, the majority did not use comparison and localization. These features proved to be important in change reader, readers' engagement. The ones that went beyond the first visualizations were more likely to address climate protection as a structural rather than purely individual problem. Personal relevance also increases the perceived novelty of visualization, showing the potential for in-depth localized climate communication. Lastly, channel of provenance influences the way in which readers react to the topic. Readers from the online groups react in a more critical way to postcards and express stronger political intentions. Readers from the offline group tend to be very positive about the topic. Only 15.3% of readers adopted a mixed approach, going from offline to online. This last group shows a somewhat hybrid behavior. Climate protection becomes very personal, yet actionable. These differences could be used to calibrate climate communication not only based on topics and goals, but also platforms. In conclusion, identifying communication challenges has been key to this approach for constructive climate journalism, as it allows for theory-informed design decisions. The evaluation process confirms its viability by showing increased effective engagement and activation across readers. Future work could and should look into how to support production and journalistic work, for example, by focusing on authoring system for constructive climate journalism.